Hi, this is Rachel with Good Behavior Beginnings, and today I wanted to compare the uh, curriculums uh, from Blossom and Root and from Moving Beyond the Page for our age group, which is third grade, seven to nine year old. So uh, first of all, I wanted to talk about sort of why we ended up with both of those. I really liked the science focus of Blossom and Root and that it had um, a optional geography, cultural awareness piece, as well as math within an art concept and language arts. So it had a lot of the pieces that were still kind of tied together. And um, at the beginning of the year, and this being our first year homeschooling, I was really looking for those package type curriculum so that I could basically get all my information from one spot. I really liked the moving beyond the page for similar reasons. Um, we didn't do the math component with moving beyond the page, but it has science and social studies. It has language arts and you could order it with all the books, which was great because we weren't really sure how accessible our libraries were going to be and trying to track down or order a bunch of books was going to be potentially a little challenging for us. So I liked the fact that that came with all the books. I couldn't decide, we went ahead and got both. So that's why we have a comparison. Um, I think it was actually for us, it turned out really good that we ordered both because Blossom and Root was a digital download, which means I bought it and I was able to download it and start printing it right away. Moving beyond the page, obviously they have to ship it to us. And this year being what it is, um, they were behind. <laughs> they, uh, we didn't actually receive it until October and then it wasn't all of it. So we didn't actually have like a full set until we finally got everything. Um, the last four books arrived um, right before the holiday break. So we have everything now, um, but we had enough to get started with it this fall partway through. Um, so for us, it worked out really well because we had something that we could start with and then we had this other one that was coming on, so we sort of could kind of ease into it. Uh, Blossom and Root was less expensive. Uh, like I said, it's a digital download, so you pay for it, but then you have to um, get all the files and print them and organize them. I printed them off in a binder um, with little tabs um, just from our home printer. Um, now I actually have a home printer that used to be an old office printer so it is higher capacity um and it's not inkjet it's you know the cartridges and everything that are expensive so you have to kind of factor in printing um if you're going to go and have it printed or bound if you're going to print it yourself um but the actual cost for the curriculum uh was not that expensive and there were definitely pieces that we never printed off because they were just like maybe the um the part for the parent to read. I didn't bother to print those because they weren't something that I felt we necessarily needed all the time. Or if I knew that we weren't gonna cover particular sections for whatever reason, I didn't print those out. Um, so there's that. Um, moving beyond the page was more expensive, but it comes with all of the books um, and everything is already bound. So I'll show you what um, moving me on the page looks like. We have, this is concept four, unit three. Um, this is one I hope we're gonna get a chance to get to. And so we have the language arts and we have, in this case, it's social studies. What it looks like to me is that it alternates. Um, there's always a language arts and then depending upon the concept or the unit, it's either social studies or science. So you end up with about half social studies, half science, if you get like the full year and all the concepts. Um, in moving beyond the page, uh, they have everything outlined. 
They talk about what you're going to need. Here's um, the materials that you need for each lesson. Here's what's going to be covered in each lesson. I found that to be very helpful since by the time that we received this, it was clear we weren't going to make it through everything this whole year. And right now, we're not really sure how much will be homeschooling next year. We'll see. Um, but it's possible that we'll be going back to neighborhood school. Um, so having this unit review sheet at the beginning is very helpful because then I was able to sort of pick and choose which ones were covering concepts that I really wanted to make sure that we covered. So we are skipping around a little bit. Um, they can be taught separately. They can go in order. Um, but each sort of unit has books that go along with it and you work through those. Moving beyond the page also has so they have the instructions of like what you're going to do. Um, they have pages for your kids to answer the questions as you discuss the chapters so you can write it out. We generally do talking and just answer those out loud, but that's just how we've decided to do it. Um, then it also has work pages. So um, Moving beyond the page definitely has a lot more worksheets, a lot more writing. It also has you keep journals. Um, some of these are more kind of fun, but they're related to the vocabulary. Um, they cover the concepts, like there's your factor opinion. Um, so it's nice to have it all together. We really haven't had to tear out too many pages, though there are some where it's like, cut this out and then paste it with the other one. Um, but mostly we've just been working within the workbook. You could just make copies of the um, workbook pages. So if you have multiple kids that might be going through these, um, the oldest one goes through and then the younger one, you can just make the copies so that you're not writing in the book, but we're writing in the book. Um, same thing. So this has social studies. It's set up the same way. So that's nice that, um, you know, it has everything kind of outlined in the same way. And then in this one, we're going to do like a family tree and talking about ancestry and where our families came from and um, things like that. So I think that this will be really good. Um, for these two that I'm showing you, um, they have books. So this is about Iggy's house. So it has the book Iggy's house, which is a chapter book by Judy Bloom. Um, that moving beyond the page definitely uh, focuses on trying to get the kid to read it by themselves, um, read it out loud or read it on their own time. We're not entirely there yet. Personally, we do read it together. We alternate paragraphs. You know, that's just how we're doing that. But there is the idea that this could be a bit more independent reading and then you guys do the work together. Um, and then for this one, it has one book here that's going to go with this connected cultures lesson. Um, but there are other like science or social studies units that had three or four books that we used. So um, I have, I basically have a whole bookshelf full of just books from the Moving Beyond the Page curriculum, which is nice because even the ones that we're not necessarily going to get to or that we're not going to use through the curriculum, we own those books. We have those books now. So they'll be great for our, our bookshelves, our, our own personal libraries and everything. With Blossom and Root, there's definitely more of a focus on like the hands-on, acting it out, talking about it, um, than necessarily writing. There is still some writing, um, but, uh, but it's definitely a lot more of the hands-on. So I'll just show you, like I said, I printed these out. They have a page that's the connected to myths connecting myths to maps, which is their optional um, geography and culture. And that one runs through, um, oh, I don't know. I think this is a, I'll look here, 35 weeks, um, 36 weeks, right? So it's 36 weeks. 
They have art, which is mathematical principles in art. Um, currently, we're learning about density, which is actually cool. Um, going to learn about some other things. So, and that's hands on, and it's also you know gives you a link to an artwork and sort of the discussion behind that. So that's very cool. Um, the language arts is laid out where there's like check boxes of what activities to do. Um, some suggested order as to which ones you probably want to do first tells you how much to read. Um, sometimes I think that the reading portion here is um, a lot. I, I think that maybe that's just for me and my kid and our current schedule. Um, and so there might be sort of the expectation that with Blossom and Root, there's more adult reading so that the adult is reading to the kid. And then therefore you guys can cover it, the content so that you can then, um, you know, do the activities related to it. Um, but we really liked the hands-on activities, even in the language arts. It's things like, um, there's a journal prompt, there's narration, there's copy work, there's dictation, there's word play, um, there's word lists and practicing, um, that sort of thing. There's, uh, and then they recommend additional reading for the kid to read on their own as well. And then what I really, really love of the Blossom and Root is um, the science. So um, this, uh, third grade curriculum was on animals. So we're going through like the whole classification of how animals are classified. We actually did like the optional um, prehistory dinosaurs and other, you know, basically everything up to the, the current uh, period. Um, and we did that. We started with that, which was really fun because, again, it was something that the kid was really interested in and had a lot of hands-on activities, and it's dinosaurs, right? So it was a really good way for us to start the school year. So now we're working through the different classifications of animals, and then the end here um, is going to get to actually, like, um, uh, what do you call them, like life cycles and um, food chains and uh, conservation type stuff. So um, we're continuing to use this. So even though the Moving Beyond the Page has some science as well, we are continuing to do this because I feel like this goes more in depth um, to cover some of those things. And my kid is really interested in science and really wanted to do a lot of science stuff this year. So we are. Um, so on dad's teaching day, this is the science that they do. They do the art from Blossom and Root. They do the um, geography culture from Blossom and Root. And then on the other days when I'm teaching, we do the moving beyond the page um, language arts and then either social studies or science, depending upon that unit. So that's kind of what these guys look like, what the curriculum looks like. As far as preferences or what I would recommend, um, again, I think that the moving beyond the page is a little bit more worksheet and writing focused. Um, I think that it moves a little bit faster and you need to devote a little bit more time to those in order to cover the concepts. I think we spend probably, we spend probably an hour on each um, on the days that we work on, on them. So uh, an hour for language arts, an hour for the social studies or the science with moving beyond the page. Um, with Blossom and Root, I think that it is written in a way to really give you that flexibility um, to choose what kinds of hands-on projects work best for your family. So there's like the ones for, um, oh, let me, let me open it back up so that I can quote it correctly. Um, so there's things like for the book lovers and then it has a huge list of the books that you can read um, that are related to this. Okay, so it has, here's the categories. 
the minimalist. So it has, here's the bare minimum and the, the major points that you wanna get out of it. The book baskets, it's got a ton of extra books that you could look at. Visual learners, it has um, links to many, many different videos online that you could get. And then for the lab work, cause they have sort of like, here's the learning and then here's the lab. The lab is like the hands-on activities and they have those divided up as well. So they have for the outdoor learners, here's some outdoor activities that would tie in. For the table top learners, here's some of these things that you can do. It might be a little science experiment or, or it might be, you know, cutting and pasting some um, of these items. Uh, for the crafts and projects family, it's usually building or, um, you know, making some sort of like art project kind of thing um, that's related to what you're learning. So I really like that because you're not necessarily going to do all of those things. You can choose what works best and then you can kind of lump them together. So for example, um, right now, <laughs> um, we don't have as, we have different wildlife out during the winter than we will in the spring. So we're going to do some of those activities in the winter and we're going to do different activities in the spring and we'll probably just end up having like an outdoor science day in the spring when we can do several of these activities and then it'll be sort of like a review for some of the stuff that we covered in the winter when those particular outdoor activities weren't feasible. However, we did, you know, the hands-on or the, um, the other activities to learn those as we went through it. So anyway, so for us, for my family, <laughs> we're going to continue to do both. I really do like both of them. I like the um, blossom and root science. I really love it, actually. I, I really do like that. I like the art and the geography culture piece because I feel like that's helping us to make sure that we are touching upon those concepts. I really do like the language arts and how the social studies science piece ties in with the language arts with um, moving beyond the page. I am probably still going to do another language arts um, from Blossom and Root towards the end of the semester. And that's just because when I went through and looked at the books, I was like, I really like that book. I think that we should read that book. So we'll do that one. I really like this book. I think we should read that book. So we'll do this one. So I was able to sort of pick and choose um, based upon the books, right? And so, yeah, so that's my opinion. That's um, what we've seen from both of them. Moving beyond the page, Blossom and Root. Um, I actually think that they work well for us together. We're picking and choosing the pieces of each that we like, um, which is sort of different from what I thought I was doing when I was ordering these complete package curriculums. Um, I still ended up, you know, piecing together what I wanted and um, what's working for us. But it's a great start and I like both of them. Um, let me know your opinions. Let me know your experiences. And if there are others that uh, you want to share information, much appreciated. Bye.